that's a grown man that you brought in. He's not 25. That man is 34 years old <laughs> and he works for the Mafia. What happens when you mix blind dating with speed dating? One dater will have 30 minutes to secure a blind date. Don't like your date? Electrocute them. <laughs> Feeling the vibe? Then go for the reveal. You seem to be a smooth talker. Let's see who will secure a bay. What are you doing next weekend? And who will be leaving alone today? My name is Nada. I'm 26 years old. My daytime job is a presenter. I host shows for Apple Music, amongst a lot of other things. And yeah, I'm here on Back to Back, looking for love. That's a little bit about me. I feel like if my friends were ever to describe my dating life, they would just be like, it's one story after the next. Like sometimes I'll go on dates and I won't leave the date because I know it's gonna be a funny story for my friends afterwards. My dating life is just like, boom, boom. But it's fun, it's good fun. I've learned that the majority of men are outrageous, but just trying to find my outrageous. I think I've come to this stage in my life where I'm tired of hearing aunties, mothers, everyone saying, when will you marry? And I'm really ready to find my person. The streets are cold. I don't want to be outside no more. I just want my, my person, my partner. Hello, hello. Well, go on. Name's Eric. I'm 24, soon to be 25. Man's a pharmacist. Not yet though, soon. I'm here to find someone that I can bring home, introduce to my mum, and tell her this is my wife-to-be. Hiya. You are right? Who's this then? Um, my name's Nada. <laughs> What's your name? I'm Eric. Eric. Interesting. Where are you from, Eric? I'm from Slovakia. Okay. But I moved to England when I was four. We Aww. lived in London, mm -hmm. in Brixton. And then from Brixton, we moved to Margate. So now, do you live in Margate? Is that where I you live? I live there, yeah. Okay. Yeah. How is Margate? Is it pretty nice? In summer, you can say, yeah. Okay, cool. Other than that. What is it you do with your time, Eric? What do you do for a living? So, I work in a pharmacy now. I, I was a head chef before. Okay, I was cooking. so you can cook? I can look after, don't you worry. You can look after? Yeah. All right, how old are you? I'm 24, soon to be 25. But don't let age make you think any otherwise. Age is just a number. Age is just a number? It is. Okay. It is, um, what about you? Um, I'm 26. Have you ever dated an older woman? I was with one that was 30. This was four years ago. So wait, how old were you four years but, ago? But, so but you were 20 and she I was 30? Was 20, I was 20. But and she was 30? Yes. That it felt was, okay. It was misleading because she was very good looking. What was that relationship like? It was all right, but when my family found out that I'm dating an old woman, they wanted to meet her. And obviously I cannot bring home a woman that is the same age as my uncle. Your so, uncle? Yeah. Okay, so you brought home this woman and then what? What uh, happens? Nothing. Oh. That was it. That was it. But that's different. Why was that different? Because that's the 10 year gap. Okay. This is a year. This is different. Okay, all right. So it, everything's gonna be different. Okay, mm-hmm. Sorry. Oh, <laughs> but you're taking a piss now. <laughs> you're taking a piss now. Right, listen. <laughs> That date, I was excited. Fuck me, why would you do that to me? I'm nah. so sorry. Listen, I'll be outside, yeah. Wait, you're, you're how old? I'm 25 soon. Are you sure? Okay, so... All right, all right. Nice to meet you. Okay, we'll see. I can't lie, we were talking. She's got a very nice voice. However, I got buzzed. So no hard feelings. It was all right. I'll see you outside, yeah? See? He's not 25. That's a grown man that you brought in. He's not 25. He's not 25. That man is 34 years old. <laughs> and he works for the Mafia. Like, he's, he's, he was confusing me a lot. Oh, that's not a great start, is it? Next, let's go again. Hi, my name's Sky. I'm 28. Um, I work in IT and securities and trades, but I'm kind of like remote right now. And I am six foot seven. I like women who are super round, like attractive, voluptuous, and God fearing. I like God fearing women. That's like top of the list. Like, I'm ready to find love because um, I just feel like I'm at an age. I've healed and. I feel like I am emotionally mature now to find love. I think that's where I'm at still. Hi. Yo. What's your name? Sky. Sky? Yeah. Like the sky? 
You like this guy I'm tall, isn't it? My actual name's Rob, like Robert. How tall are you? Um, not too tall, I'm like six foot seven. You said not too tall, you're six foot seven? Yeah, I've got taller mates, innit? And I feel like six foot seven is not what it used to be. So how is it you have taller mates? What is it you do? I don't do much, you know. I just really just rap, trade, yeah, literally. You rap much. and you trade? Yeah. So you rap and you trade? Oh, you're, gonna, you're screaming rap mad loud. <laughs> no, so, yeah. so you rap. Rap is like, kind of like a zero hour contract. I'm trying to be serious, isn't it? But um, I trade and I used to work in banking. Okay. And I also do security as well. So if you need any clothes protection. Can you do me a favour for me? Um, no, I can't do you any favours. I don't know you yet. <clears throat> Excuse me? I can't do you any favours. I don't know you yet. All right. How about this? Just rap for me. I should rap for you. Yeah. I'm not going to do a freestyle off the head. What? So you, you're not good enough to do a freestyle off the head? Um, I'm good enough to use my words, 100%. So okay, just give, just give me anything. Just give me anything. Come on, let's go. They ain't got a Scooby with a meddling kids. The Jake starts questions, I'm telling them fibs. Same number, but I'm moving all dig. Can't call me if it ain't quids. I don't know if soon I'll be rich. My outlook changed starting off with a rich. A million enough to be lidge. It's just about filling the fridge. That's what I got for you still. Thank you. Um, out of 10, how do you think you did? What, in regards to rapping? Yeah. Out uh, of 10, I think I'm TT, I'm 10. Fantastic, how old are you? <laughs> me, I'm 28. You're 28. How old are you? Um, 26. 26, you What's do? your worst dating experience? I flew out with someone on holiday. Did you pay for a ticket? Yeah. I knew the girl like a little bit prior before. Yeah. But on holiday, it was all inclusive and she was just mad boring. Everything that she was saying before was just dead. Like, it was boring. I just wanted to get out of there as soon as I got it. Interesting. How do you move to girls? Um, mainly just in real life, you know. I'm not really a social media head in regards to like DMing people and that. I'm quite outgoing, like day to day, just up and down, not really like partying. And yeah, that's how I move to girls. So what's your worst habit, would you say? Uber. Are you spend a lot on Uber? Yeah. Funny enough, one of my friends spends a lot more than me. I found out the other day. But yeah, but she's got an established career, like, pop up there. So you don't have an established career? No, in regards to, like, music, and I've got a buzz. I thought, I, I, I was a bit quick. You said you don't have an established career, and then yeah. I'm sorry. That's fine. You still ain't told me your name yet. My name's Nada. Nada, OK. Yeah. I think I know you. You think you know me? Yeah. What do you mean? Your voice sounds familiar. No way. What ethnicity are you? Um, I'm Algerian. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah, good luck. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. Oh my gosh. I'm doing I'm doing I told you. I'm How are you? I'm alright, still chilling. <laughs> Sorry. Sweet. Bye. <laughs> Love. A long hard day. I love tall men, but I feel like give me some conversation, give me some connection, there's just nothing there. Let's bring on the next one. Let's hope they get a little bit better. I hope so. My name is Amir, I'm 26, and I'm a freelance social media manager and part-time podcaster. And what I look for in a woman, someone who's got a great personality. I like a woman who's sometimes a little bit submissive. I'm not gonna lie to you, but um, someone who's, who's also got a bit of an attitude as well. I'm here to find some love, a potential future partner, um, someone I can make babies with. <laughs> Hiya. Hey, how are you? I'm good. You have a nice voice. Oh, thank you. So do you. Um, give me your best chat up line. Let's go straight into it. Best chat up line? Mm-hmm. That's not what I do. I can't lie to you. So what? Spit game? Something. What's your name? Nada. Okay, how old are you? I'm 26. Okay, where are you from? Um, I'm from Reading. Oh, you're far. Where are you from? Me, North West, Wembley. Oh, that's where I live now, though. What? Yeah, I actually live in Wembley. Okay, what do you do? I um, am a presenter. What do you do? Me, I'm a freelance social media manager and I do content creating on the side. Nice. Yeah. Nice. What do you do with your free time? All I do is content creating. So um, I interview up and coming TikTokers, influencers, people who are like really in the game, really. What do you do for fun? I go to comedy clubs. Uh, I don't go to fancy dates. So like you wouldn't do like a nice dinner or? No, yeah, I'd, I'd rather cook than go, take you to like a fancy place, do you know what I mean? Do you do podcasts? Uh, yeah, I do, yeah. What podcast do you do? Uh, it's called Last of the Real. How do you feel about men doing podcasts? I can't lie to you, they've like ruined the game for me, you know, I can't lie. Cause so when did you start the game for them to ruin the game well, for I you? Well, I did it during Covid times, so I wasn't going to finish Okay, you need to stop being so aggressive, was, okay? Yeah, of course, I'm not, I have to because Whoa, they were, calm I can't, down. no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, because I can't, I can't move to girl nowadays yet without, like, I have to explain it before I tell them so I So this is podcast. like a real thing for you, this is like, this makes you well, yeah, angry. 100% man, because it's my career now, do you know what I mean? I didn't know it was going to flip in, like, because initially I wasn't, I wasn't going to finish it during Covid, innit? 
Oh yeah, you were going to finish yeah, your Yeah, I got the views and stuff, but then like after going to the club and whatnot, I was telling Gal, like, listen, I do a podcast. So that's what that's how you move to girls. So you do move to girls. So a second ago you told me you don't move to girls. Yeah, no, I do move to girls. I don't do any pickup lines, man. That's not, that's not how I move. Like, oh, okay. So you move to girls and just say hi. I do podcasts. No, no, no. But if they ask me what I do, then I'll tell them. Oh, okay. But I explain what I do before I say the term podcasting, because they, they'll just think I'm, I'm like interviewing men and just about women. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Do you about women? No, that's not what I do. Okay. What are you passionate about? <laughs> because you seem like a very passionate person. Uh, passionate about consecrating, man. <laughs> what uh, else? Um, film. I like I do script writing, um, interviewing. Okay. Um, I'm trying to be like you, man. I'm trying to follow your footsteps. My footsteps? Yeah, you're a presenter, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. We can go out for a chat and then I'll take some tips from you. Oh, is it? But you're not going to take me to a dinner. You're going to take me to a comedy club, right? Yeah, comedy club and then dinner. Yeah, how about that? Okay, fine. How, what would you do to impress me? Um... I don't know, you know, man, like, I'll, um, what's going on? I don't okay. know, I'll probably cook for you. What's the nicest date you've ever taken a girl on? Like, you can pat yourself on the back, you're like, yeah, I did it. I can't lie to you, I'm gonna repeat it again, comedy club, you know, that only cost me a pound. You see, now. So you're cheap, yeah. is that what you're trying to tell me? No, it ain't, it ain't cheap, but you see, look, it's, it's the thought that counts. It's, it's, no, but it's, are you cheap? I'm not cheap, no, no, no. Okay, so why are you talking wait, about Wait, 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 do you like men who uh, spend on you? Who doesn't? But it's not about that, it's about just like... So what's it about then? I don't... First of all, <laughs> you are getting very aggressive. What makes you angry? This is what I need to know it's now. Not, what it's makes not, you but, angry? Like, but like, there are so many standards already, like, I, we just... Would you say you have anger problems? 100% no. 100% no? No. <laughs> <laughs> who starts a sentence with 100% no? I feel like you're the kind of person that if like you got aggravated, you could make the Trust situation me, it, feel worse than nah, it actually it takes is. Me, it takes me a very long time for someone to piss me off. What would your ex say about you? Oh, uh, they're still chasing me. Ooh, and why is that? Because look how far I've come. How far have you come? <laughs> I've come very far. <laughs> why do you, <laughs> why do you okay, not no, sound no, no, sure? No, no. Look, I'm not successful yet. I feel like I've done pretty well for myself so far. I'm, glad, I'm happy for you. I may not be on your level yet. I didn't know, but I'm just saying I'm really happy for you. Okay, I'm happy success for me is, too. Success is what we make it. You know what I mean? I'm happy for me too, I can't lie. What's your best quality? My best quality, my laugh. Your laugh? Yeah, laugh man. for me. <laughs> you have to say <laughs> That's your best quality. <laughs> 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 No, he's outrageous. He's funny, but he's outrageous. <laughs> oh my gosh, nah, 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 nah. The day went all right, but she thought I had anger issues. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. But she buzzed me on my laugh, which I find quite offensive as I find my laugh quite valuable. And I could actually feel him squaring up on my back. Like every time he would get angry, all I could feel was like, like I was gonna get boxed in the face. It's just how I speak. I can't believe she thought I had anger problems. <laughs> it's just like I get too passionate. <laughs> Watch out in Wembley, stay away from certain places. <laughs> He's nice. He's a cool guy. It's a shame about the podcasts. He seems cool. Have I recovered from the pain of the shock? Uh, yeah, I completely forgot about it until now that I remember. I'm quite embarrassed. Do you know what? I actually don't know how to recover from that now. How do I recover from that? What's going on, guys? Kirsty here from Widen the Curve, and I'm here with Nods. Hi, guys. And the whole team. Whoa. That is right. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode of Back to Back. But we have a quick favor to ask. Yes, we do. Now, Word on the Curve is building the UK's biggest online community for creative opportunities. We need you to get involved. By signing up, you'll get priority access for getting casted into shows just like this. You'll also get exclusive access to Word on the Curve events and networking opportunities. And finally, you can get paid for your opinions. <laughs> <laughs> finally, you'll have weekly opportunities to get paid for your opinions via surveys and focus groups. Making these shows is not cheap, and the only way we can fund them is by you getting involved. So click the link below and sign up. All right, guys, do what he says and make sure you enjoy the rest of the episode. Peace. Bye, guys. Bye. 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 Next person, please. My name is Amir. I'm 27 years old. 
and I'm a professional roller skater. I just like chill people. I'm not a big party party guy. I don't. I'm not really like someone to go out. I like calm, relax. I like pure peace. I think I'm ready to start dating now because I got out of a really long relationship. I took some time to heal and move my life forward a little bit, uh, and I'm ready to have someone to move with me. Hi. Hello. How are you? I'm good. I'm just trying to get this thing off my head. Oh, you're blindfolded. Okay. Yeah. What's your name? Amir. Amir. Where are you from, Amir? I'm from Guyana and St. Lucia. Ooh. Can I ask you what your name is? My name is Nada. That's a great name. Thank you. Where are you from? <laughs> Originally Algerian. You have a great voice. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. You're <laughs> great with the compliments. So what do you do with yourself, Amir? Uh, I'm a professional roller skater. That's what I do full time. A professional roller skater? I am. How does that work? So you just um, skate? Yeah, so I teach. Um, I teach like kids, I do youth clubs. Aww. And I also, uh, I do like shoots, I do videos, I've done documentaries. Would I, you teach me how to roller skate? Of course I would. Aww. It'd be fun. Thanks, I'm not great, so I hope you're patient. Are you um, patient? Very patient. Mm. What's your ideal of... first date? Um, that's a great question. I'm very chill, I like walking. Um, I like go into interesting places. What's I'm interesting not, for you? Like museums. Mm -hmm. uh, there's like a few art, art exhibitions that I like. When's the last time you went somewhere and you thought, wow, that was fun? I went to a new roller rink that opened recently in West London. Oh yeah, um, Flippers? Yeah. Yeah, did you enjoy yourself? I had a lot of fun. That's dope. Um, what is the first thing people notice about you? My hair. Your hair? Yeah. What's your hair like? I have an afro. Okay. A big effort. How tall are you? I am 5'10". I'm six foot with my afro on. <laughs> with it up and nice and The afro just adds. That's it. Okay. Hmm. Um, what is your favorite thing about a woman? I'd say, I'd say conversation, but I guess that's quite generic. Yeah. Um, but I like someone who I can really connect with. What are you like in bed? <laughs> um, I, I'd give myself a, a solid nine. A nine? Yeah. Is this from like what people have said or you're just guessing? <laughs> you're just, I'd, I'm giving I'd say it's from what people have said, but I, I think I'm, I'm, a, I'm a passionate man. You're passionate? I'm a very passionate man. Okay. Rate your last sexual experience out of 10. 10. Why was it a 10? Um, because I was in love. You were in love? When was yeah. this? It was, a, it was a while ago. Oh, it was a while ago? It was a while Why ago. Why have you been single for so long? Um, just trying to figure out who I am, trying to figure out what kind of man I want to be. I want to travel. I want to... This exists for a bit. So if you were going to take me on a holiday, where would we go? Barcelona. Okay. I know some great spots around there. I go there every year. That's so cute. <laughs> Aww. Um, what is your worst quality? I want to know the bad stuff now. Um, I'm quite hard-headed. Like once I decide that this is what I'm doing, I feel like I'm kind of like that. But I'm a I'm, I'm very good listener. Okay. So I can be swayed sometimes. So what's things that you just don't compromise on? There's never things I don't compromise on. But if I think I'm right, I will do my best to put forward my case. Okay. And if ultimately I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Hmm. What's your physical type in a woman? I like women of all shapes and sizes. I, why did I knew you were going to say that? Do you know what you sound like to me? Tell me. You just sound like someone who's just very, like, very pleasant. And it's always the really, really pleasant ones that you have to be a little bit careful of. No. Because <laughs> it's like, you're just too nice across the board. I'm a lover. You're a lover. I'm a lover. I was raised right. My mum is an amazing person. Eee. I was, that's it. I'm a lover. You're the kind of man you marry, you know? I would hope so. When's the last time you got angry? <sighs> Many years ago. Why so long ago? I'd never put myself in positions where I need to be angry. I'm happy to just walk away and give it some time. Oh my gosh, that's really sweet. <laughs> but then like, do you not feel like sometimes you need a little bit of like passion and fire? And, like, I don't anger? know. If, I don't know if, ang if anger is passion. I think you can be passionate without being angry. I feel like you've just got this rehearsed. Never. Like, is there never. like a little scripture reading from? I'm just being honest. Do you believe in love at first sight? No. You don't? I used to. How old are you? I'm 27. Interesting. It, what do you want five years from now for your life? I want to be in another country and I just want to be in a secure spot. I'd like to have kids by in five years. I'd like to have at least one or two kids. And when do you want to get married? Like, now. Not with me. Right now. <laughs> Would you want to get married? Right now. I'm ready to go. Let's go. You're ready to go now? I'm ready. Are you ready for like a full-time, like committed relationship Yes, now? yeah. Eee. I'm a relationship guy. All right, tell me, oh, tell me one of like the craziest things you've ever done in love. Um, I paid for my ex's house 
uh, or her flat. I paid the like the first few months rent. Oh, flat. you paid her rent. You didn't buy her the yeah. house. No, 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 no. I paid like the first few months, and it was like all my money. Um... She had nowhere to stay, so I had to sweat out. You're actually like the sweetest person ever. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just, just. <laughs> um, <laughs> tell me something bad. <laughs> Give me something. What's the hardest thing you've had to unlearn? That I'm not always right. Yeah. You just, how would your friends describe you? Exactly how you described me. You said I'm really chill. Yeah. I'm just really relaxed. I'm like a Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Yeah. See, I'm a good listener. I told you, right? Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> oh my god, um, do you have any questions for me? Um, I, I like listening to you talk, so no. E, not listen to me talk. <laughs> um, whew, would you cut your hair for me? Never. So basically what you're trying to say is that you wouldn't do things for me? No, shall I tell you why? No, go and tell me why. Because I don't think that you would appreciate a man who would bend so easily. Oh my god! <laughs> you're good, no, you're good. <laughs> No, you're good. What are you doing next weekend? <laughs> Probably skating. All right, well, um, thank you very much for coming. I know I, it's my hand didn't buzz. Is that a good thing? Um, maybe. Okay. But I, I will reconvene with you. I just, um, yeah, I just want to see the last few, you know, where I'm at. Great. It's just, yeah, okay. I think the day went really well. It was fun. It was nice. It was nice talking to her. It was really fun. Hello. Hi girl. How are you? How are you? I'm good, thank you. So your afro really does like add like does, yeah. hella. Got the balance. You're like a smooth, you're like super, super smooth. Thank you. I do try. Okay, well it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet you too. Bye. It's been it's been really fun. It's, I've learned a lot about myself. Um I've learned a lot about the good stuff and the bad stuff. Um I'm just yeah, ready to move forward, you know. Nah, he's too slick. That's the man you marry, you know. And guess what? It's probably not the person you'd pick to marry. So where do you see yourself taking your dating life from him? I don't know. Whenever the opportunity presents itself, um, I'm there for it. But, you know, we just keep moving. But, you know, can't put all your eggs in one basket. So let's bring out the last data, see what we've got. My name is TJ. I'm 31. I'm a model. I play semi-pro football. I would say I'm looking for a relationship, someone I can get along with, someone that's funny and just chilled, really. I'm kind of a relaxed person, so I don't really need stress or anything like that. So yeah, just someone that's as relaxed and chilled up. Hi, Ab. Hey, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good. Let's get into that, the nitty gritties. Yeah. What um, is the most embarrassing sexual experience you've ever had? I don't, I don't think I've really had an embarrassing one, like probably maybe just coming too quick. At what, coming too quick? Yeah. Is that something that usually happens with you? No, nah, that's not often. It's just no, it's not enough. Oh, okay. No, it's not an often thing, but happens. What about you? Um, one time. Yeah. Someone told me to bark. Bark. Yeah. Can you show me the bark you did? No, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually did. It was that good. I was like, I actually barked. Yeah. <laughs> would you bark for me? I don't think I would. Okay. I, unless I was in like the most aggressive mood in, in the situation. Would you say you have an aggressive character? I'm trying to stay away from the bark conversation. <laughs> Do you, would you say you have an aggressive character? No, I would say that I'm dominant um, in most kind of ways, but then I will give you like time to have your time to shine as well. All right, how old are you? I'm 31, how old are you? Okay, I'm 26. What do you do for a living? Um, I'm a model. Um, I do sports mm -hmm. and I work in hospitality as well. How tall are you? Six one. What do you do? Um, I'm a presenter. Okay, so would you say that you're quite confident? I think so. Yeah. I like to think so, yeah. So what would you say are the three worst things about you? The three worst things about me? Yeah. <sighs> None. I think I'm a bit perfect. No, um, really? <laughs> no um, worst things about me, I'm a bit impatient. Okay. I can be very stubborn. And I could be hard-headed. So can you deal with those? Stubbornness. Yeah, I, yeah. Can, I, can, I can deal with that. But then if they're all three of them are coming at one time, <laughs> then it's How it, would you it, handle that if it came to you in like a truckload? How would you defuse truckload. the situation? See, I'm a very calm kind of person. It's kind of like, you probably would be impatient with me because I tried to take time with things. Uh -huh. I think the hard-headedness might get me, mm -hmm. but then, because I feel like both of us would be hard-headed. What's your um, free? I would say I'm direct. Now that could be a good thing or a bad thing, mm -hmm. depending on how you are. I can be impatient. I don't know, I think I've only got two. 
When's your birthday? June. When's yours? March 24th. I'm guessing you believe in star signs. Sometimes they can give you a little bit of an indication. So a star sign is. I'm a cancer. What does that tell you? I know a few cancers. They're cool. Oh, they're you cool. Are, yeah, you guys are all right. So you've had good experiences with us? Yeah. And you're looking for another good experience with us? Eeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeeee
Originally, I was kind of nervous. Mm -hmm. And then once like, I kind of spoke to you, it kind of made me more comfortable because your energy was, it was good. It was quite bubbly. I was nervous at the beginning too because you just don't know what to expect. Yeah. So where are we going on our first date? I was thinking dinner after mm -hmm. arcade. That works. Yeah. That does work. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> I'm sure you're tall. I did say Oh I my was, gosh. I was joking. <laughs> no, you're actually tall, tall. I'm not that guy that lies about his height. <laughs> uh, so I have some too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. that's nice. Tell me one of your fetishes. I like feet, so foot fetish. Oh, amazing. Oh, you like that, yeah? I've got a whole foot page dedicated to my feet. Wow. 